Hey everyone, just taking a quick break from Angelina Jolie's marathon uh, to give you a tour around my new room. Uh, it would be a new flat, it's the same building. Uh, I'm on the first floor now, I was on floor number four. Um, and essentially the room is exactly the same uh, as uh, my previous one. Of course, a yellow door this time. Um, sort of a custard yellow, I suppose, I don't know. Nothing to be uh, too concerned about. Pretty good. Uh, the floor looks nice and clean. It was uh, very uh, well presented when I first arrived. And I've been here just about 24 hours, I suppose, since I completed the move. Um, a bedding. As you can see, a vast improvement from the first uh, few weeks of arriving. I've acquired many things over the months. Uh, five or seven months it's been. Um, but most things have remained mostly the same. Uh, for example, uh, a few pots and pans. Um, the bookshelf is the same. I may as well have m uh, moved the bookshelf in its entirety with contents down in one move, but uh, not quite. Uh, not quite so uh, ergonomic, to be honest. Uh, umbrella hook for the jacket this time, minor improvement. Um, yeah, the floor looks a lot better than the other one, and that wasn't uh, that wasn't ever my fault. I had a you know, an inferior floor in every way. Uh, wardrobe looks pretty cool uh, with mirror, suitcase, but everything is basically backwards because uh, I remember in the other video, um, although I'm living on the same side of the building this time, everything is flipped slightly. So uh, toilets on the left instead of the right. Likewise wardrobe, likewise bed, likewise everything. So um, that takes a bit of getting used to. Also means I have to sleep on you know, the other side. The only way I can really sleep with any confidence, and it's mostly psychological probably, but I can only really sleep facing the wall uh, in any given situation. Don't know why that is. Um, probably coziness factor, I don't know. Um, another thing that will have changed, and biggest change, is the view. Um, Let's open the curtains up there. Uh, it's getting on a bit. It's well, I say getting on. It's about 6 p.m. approximately. Um, slight glare from the lights. Uh, and what we can see out of my window then, again, balcony door situation, um, is no netting, which is quite good. I've got a better opportunity to see the view, but unfortunately, the view is some trees um, and a palm tree. Um, not a particularly attractive looking palm tree. Um, as you know, for, I'm basically, that's basically literally down from where uh, I was last time. I uh, haven't moved particularly sideways, I am just sheer down. And so we know then that the view before potentially could have been of the sea, could have seen all of the houses from 300 feet in the air. But uh, I've just got a guardrail and uh, some trees which are beginning to improve. Of course, it's uh, springtime. And uh, yeah, they're going to start to look a bit better before they look a bit sort of ravaged and battered by the weather. And the weather has been a bit all over the place in the last few days, starting to warm up, but occasionally, um, occasionally typhoons. So um, pretty good. Uh, nothing on the balcony. I'm not going to be using that much, although privacy might be an issue. Um, being literally on the ground and. Uh, of course, this is a locked balcony door, but I sort of uh, slightly less secure, so uh, that will genuinely have to be locked due to uh, the burglary factor. Um, similar table layout, pretty good. One improvement I have uh, relished already is the swivel chair is spectacularly good, um, almost silent. Absolutely brilliant, vast improvement. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go, very good room, very happy with it. Forced move, um, slightly unclear why, but um, yeah, quite a few of us uh, of our friendship group, I suppose, all had to move. And indeed, the whole fourth and fifth floor has had to move due to renovation work. But it's not clear whether the renovation work was on those floors in particular or just some nearby places. 
and the residents of that nearby place were going to move in here. So uh, either way, um, moving out of our old rooms was uh, necessary um, and I think this is uh, not a bad outcome overall. Uh, certainly I uh, haven't lost out and actually I, I found it quite fun moving everything. Never really moved house before and uh, discovered I've actually got quite a lot of stuff and moving took uh, a few hours albeit in a relaxed way. Had a good day, nice weather to move as well and just before I forget I'm lying in bed and I'll wake up to see Jin Kazama every single day. Such an improved feature of the room. Uh, and the room, the room in its current state is, is, is of course, admittedly a little, uh, a little bare bones, a little dull. You get to really leave a big impression on it, but uh, my reasons are twofold. Firstly, um, I don't have much more stuff, and. Uh, I've just thrown away quite a bit of the uh, unnecessary stuff uh, to facilitate easier moving conditions. Um, and it's mostly unnecessary. It's uh, it's not a room where parties are held. It's not practical. It's a room to sleep and occasionally work in. Um, and not to cook in either. Cook in the nearby lounge. And that's another thing. I have the kitchen opposite my door. I, you know, I live next to the kitchen area and also the laundry area which I'm currently doing laundry in as we speak uh, so that's very good, very useful perfectly situated and of course being on the first floor I no longer have to trudge up four flights of stairs every day so uh, that's very good and the second reason why uh, I haven't particularly filled out the room and personalised and customised it to the nth degree the second reason is that I'm going to be moving in four months out and out of the country as well, so um really doesn't seem particularly uh, a good idea, but um, yeah, that's a little guy to my room. Uh, and now I'll talk you through my last couple of days and also uh, my plans for the next few. Uh, so here I am again, talking to the camera half a meter away. With the backdrop of uh, you know, white plain wall, it's a rather dull on my bed. But uh, it's just been Easter, very good. Um, had a great time. Weather was really good for it as well. Everybody was free. Uh, we had some new students arrive, so uh, big group of us to enjoy it as well. Uh, and we actually had a legitimate Easter egg hunt in every conceivable way. We actually. Um, gathered together a whole bunch of genuine eggs, uh, not just chocolate eggs, also made an appearance. But uh, yeah, we decorated up loads of eggs and uh, one person went around the area and hid a few, well I say a few, about 50 or so. And uh, the winners got chocolate and I, yeah, I did quite well, got a bit of chocolate, very excellent day, all you can eat to finish. Um, very successful Easter. Um, in in the way of eating a lot, uh, but not so much in the religious practicing kind of way. But very good, uh, and now that's gone. And so the next uh, sort of event and things on my mind include and uh, revolve around the idea of working. Uh, term starts incredibly soon. Tomorrow I've got a placement test to dictate my. Uh, classes and groups uh, for the next term and I'm vastly underprepared um, so I've got the rest of the day to uh, hit the books really hard and um, I don't know, I have tenure I suppose uh, I suppose they'll go off my results from the first term to some extent but it's also quite important to do well tomorrow um, I don't know, apparently the, uh, the test format has been uh, adapted slightly don't know really what that'll mean, um, but uh, a little bit stressful, and I suppose a wake-up call to get me uh, prepared for the next few uh, few weeks and months. Uh, the teaching's sort of uh, rolling more into motion, but still uh, more paperwork, admin, and faff uh, to do before that begins towards the end of April. 
Um, and tomorrow looks like uh, not only the test, but following the test, uh, and I've been invited uh, to have a meal out with some people from my uh, university back home in England, and I don't know, it should be rather good. Um, we email out the blue about it yesterday. Um, since replied to, yeah. um, pretty good. It's in the mid or Osaka area, an area I'm not terribly familiar with. Uh, meeting outside of a bookstore I've never heard of, but I'm sure I can find it. Um, to a restaurant again, never heard of, but uh, it'll be something new. Um, and hopefully I can get there. Okay. Um, so I I don't know who else is going. They've had events like this for us to catch up with. Uh, teachers to check up on us, see how we're doing our year abroad um, and actually I'll have a lot to say it would be a case, uh, not in Japanese though of course, but what I'll be saying is, yeah everything's going alright let's have a nice meal yeah, So uh, that should be pretty okay but I have no idea who else is going to go, they've had events like this before in the Tokyo area but everybody from my year is in Tokyo so I can definitely imagine the turnout being of about three or four people, which, uh, although a bit bare bones, is um, by no means a you know, terrible situation. But uh, more than merrier. But let's see. Um, could be expensive. I don't know if it's going to be paid for. If it's going to be paid for, then party time. But um, I'll go with a low budget in mind. Um, but yeah, pretty good. While they're warming up a bit. End of my holidays, taking that quite hard. Um, new, having a, a new a new place to live, however local to my old place, is uh, quite a nice uh, way to sort of end a chapter and begin a new one. Quite a fun process, and uh, a lot of my friends are, and I are all living quite close together still. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty good. We've got some new people around. Um, new friends and yeah it's pretty good it sort of makes you realize that you have uh, you have um, adapted more than you think to the Japanese way of life and you should have um, you realize just how far you've come which is quite good um, in many aspects and it's kind of nice to through them feel like you're doing the fun new first few days all over again so that's kind of good and definitely looking forward to the next semester all the feels now like I'm counting down days um, instead of ticking the boxes off and um, yeah it should be pretty good I'm in England uh, when I return there but uh, still definitely a lot to uh, see and do in Japan and it should be very good uh, thanks for sticking with me on this probably rather lengthy video um, Lots more video stuff coming up uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later.